burn right now, we can see that the laser is showing is disconnected, and that's because it can't find those USB drivers that it was using. Replacing those is super easy. We're going to use a program called Zadig. It's right here, Zadig 2.7. You can find it with a super quick Google search. So if we open up Chrome, we can do Zadig USB download. So here it is, zadig.akio.ie. I'll link this in the description, uh, and you can download it here. It's Zadig 2.7 is the most recent version. It's not an installer. It just runs right out of the file that you download. And if we double click it, and we approve of the security warning. Uh, all we have to do is come to options and click list all devices. And then we're going to drop this down and we're going to find our LMC V2 or whichever uh, easy CAD board that you're using. And we're going to select that. And then we're not going to touch anything else. We've got Win USB right here. That's exactly what it needs. And we're going to click replace driver. And this process can take anywhere from 30 seconds to five minutes. So just be patient, let it do its thing. Um, we'll watch it happen down here in the device manager, which we've left open on purpose. So you can see that the BJJCZ drivers are gone and the USB LMC V2 is shown back up under universal serial bus devices. So that's perfect. Uh, we'll just let this finish finalizing. And when it's finished, we'll get this message. The driver was installed successfully. So we can hit close and we can close the dig. And when we open Lightburn back up, we can see that the laser is ready to go. It can find the laser again, and everything is back to the way that it was. So uh, very easy, guys. It's very, very easy to swap back and forth between EasyCAD and Lightburn when you need to. Uh, so if for some reason you have a project in EasyCAD you need to pull up, you can just go back to EasyCAD for that one project and then come back to Lightburn. You don't have to uninstall Lightburn. You don't have to do too much with drivers. Uh, again, the best way to do it, device manager, right? If you uninstall this uh, and you already had the EasyCAD drivers installed, it's just action. Scan for hardware changes and it should come right up. If for whatever reason the EasyCAD drivers don't just pop up automatically, just reinstall them.